Well, hey, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. So, Taurus, this is going to be your second reading for the day. So, I've already posted, and this will go on. The, this will go on at night when I post the other video that morning. Um, so, we're going to go ahead. This one is going to be a little bit different. I did one for Sag already. This is going to be solutions to your problems, okay? You guys already know I'm all about solutions. And then at the end, we'll get a, you will use or get some advice from some oracles. So, this is going to be for Taurus. Let's just see what's been going on with you, Taurus. You guys have been having a good reading, but this is a little bit different. So, let's see what's been going on with Taurus. Okay. How many is that? Oh, that's three so far. Oof. Double. Wow. Okay. Now, I see a lot with this. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we're about to get your, your last card for this row, but um, let's just get it. We have the Tempers card, so I'll keep that in mind. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more. There we go. Wow. Oof. A lot of change here. I love it. And then look at you here with the Queen of Wands. All right. So let's talk about it, Taurus. Taurus, you've been having a really beautiful reading. Some of you guys, I've looked in the comment section and I have noticed that some of you guys have been like, oh my God, this has been saying for so many years. That has not been my channel, okay? You guys do that over there with other people. Don't do that in my channel. I have to say that because it just it bothers me. I haven't even been on YouTube that long. Um, one thing I will say when it comes down to your reading, you know, that type of communication style, even that, that anger, okay, is the devil energy. I love it. Okay, because divination never fails. That type of resentment and anger because some of you guys have been in love with someone and it didn't work out. Um, you guys have, and this is not all you guys feeling this way, but a lot of you guys, it's levels to it, right? Um, you were, you know, in a connection, things seemed like it was going good, everything felt like it was, it was going okay, and then it didn't pan out the way you guys thought. And part of that, I feel like here with the Wheel of Fortune, it just talks about it was just faded, okay? Because there's good things coming towards you. You guys already know that. But I do feel that some of you guys still have a flame in your heart for something or someone in your past, okay? And it, it could cause a lot of anger. Some of you guys are drinking too much. Some of you guys are overeating, that type of thing. You guys have emotional, this is an emotional wound that I'm seeing in your read. So we're talking about solutions. And this is what we're going to change, right? As Taurus. I'm not a Taurus, but I... That's how I say, okay, <laughs> this is what we're going to change because now we're talking about not you guys, you know, for you guys not to lose your faith and know that here with the will of fortune, things are going to change for the better. And that's the reason why the queen of wands is here where you guys have lost your confidence before the queen of wands talks about your confidence and being able to attract certain energy or certain people in your life. But the solution to the problem, the problem was codependency obsessive behavior, dealing with people who are toxic, maybe even dealing with toxic family members. It's that type of stuff. And that is what a lot of you guys are going to be able to remove or overcome here. Okay. Love is coming. We already know that. Okay. Um, and this is what you guys are going to have to have faith in. And I also see that there is going to be a, the love that's going to come in your life is going to ground you. You guys are going to feel grounded. Okay. You need that commitment. You need the family setting. A lot of you guys really don't have a lot of family. Kind of like Sag. Sag is a little worse though, I think. Um, not even funny, but Sag is a little worse. But I'm telling you, Sag be doing it with a smile, right? Um, but a lot of you guys don't even have, you know, real friends or a lot of family, okay? And so, you know, family is extremely important to you. And so this is the reason why some of you guys may be overthinking it and getting discouraged because it's like, I need it, I need it. And the universe knows it because here with the Wheel of Fortune, you are about to experience some faded changes, okay? So we're going to go ahead and keep going. This is going to be for Taurus. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Wow, happiness is definitely on the way. You see how we were just talking about stability here with the four of wands? I see stability here. Now, this is why I was talking about holding on to the past, being in limbo, feeling stuck. This is what you guys are going to get out of. And you know you're going to get out of it because the sun is there and it talks about what? It talks about happiness because some of you guys are not happy. You can't be happy in a state of sadness and anger, fear, 
you know, resentment, whether it's too, whether it's because of a person or because of what the, the hand that has been dealt in this lifetime, right? So, you know, um, a lot of you guys are at this place, but I love the fact that the hangman and the sun card came out because it's enlightenment. Now you are becoming aware, things are becoming clear, and now the wheel is turning, okay? Stability is coming. There's also love coming into your life. I see children even here. Some of you guys have been wanting kids for such a long time. You know, of course, you, you want a family. But a lot of you guys have really been wanting kids. You guys have really been wanting children. And I see that here with you guys. This is for Taurus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is going to change all of this. And I do see that someone in your, someone has been, has been thinking about you. It's so funny because I'm talking about your solutions, but then someone from your past is always showing up in your reading. <laughs> it never fails. Here with the devil card, you know, that could be them obsessing over you. Now, this is a lot of you guys as well. You know, I know a lot of y'all like, I'm not, I'm not in that energy. It's like, okay, that's not, maybe not now. Okay. But there's a Taurus who is, okay? Or a Taurus who will be in that energy, okay? And, and a lot of you guys need to know what's going to happen. But I do see that someone from your past has been thinking about you, <laughs> okay? Here with the Five of Swords. And they want to make peace with you, okay? Some of them want to reignite love with you. And for others, this is just new love. You already know it's here because we see the ten, of, the ten of Cups and the Sun card. So we already know it's coming. So... Overall, this reading is just basically, you know, the, the solutions to your problems. Your problems have been just, in general, stagnation, nothing moving, feeling like your life is in limbo, stuck in limbo, okay? Not having serious, committed relationships, not being in any type of connections that move further than just a couple of months or a year and a person, you know, build on you. A lot of disappointments. And part of this Justice card talks about karma, and it also talks about finally things becoming fair to you. Okay, um, here with the five of cups, like I said, you know, some of this is you guys too with having disappointments, but I feel like this, this card in general is someone else. I do feel like there's going to be someone from your past coming back in, but we're going to go ahead and get some oracles here for you, Taurus, because somebody is definitely hell bent on trying to get you back, but you guys are going to have a choice here. I've said it plenty of times. This is for Taurus. Advice for Taurus. There we go. All right. At the bottom of the deck, transition. You're undergoing a significant life change or entering in a time of transition. Growth will only be possible by suspending your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel. That's this. Un what does it say? Uncomfortable void that you feel. So you guys are definitely changing. You're under. You're undergoing a transition. We already know that, right? Here it says gateway. A flood of opportunities are coming your way. We already knew that. <laughs> Giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice, which is your in your intuition, and let your soul make your decisions. Expect to be busy. So again, this is not going to last. The hangman, where you guys like, oh my god, nothing has been happening. I've been saying plenty of times, like, listen, this is not going to stay forever, okay? Because you're going to be dealing with someone from your past. You got your work life. You got your, um, your, your career, your family. You got a lot of stuff that's really about to start moving for you. Transition, undergoing. That means things are about to change. Here with secrecy. There's a situation or person that's not, that's, that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start uncover to uncover things that have been kept secret, pay close attention to your surroundings. Didn't I just say that? Hangman, sun means what? Enlightenment or illumination. Things that have been kept in the dark coming to light. Oof. And it's going to be major. Last one. That's right. I don't even know. I, I, this is my first time using these cards. They all say the same thing. Marriage. You may get engaged or commit to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to give it, give your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. That's what we see here. Ten of Cups with the Hierophant and the Justice card is here. Something that's going to be very fair to you. Hey, be prepared for this transition. I'll tell you that. For some of you, this could be someone that you know. For others, this is someone new. 
but this is the solution to your problems, Taurus. That's all I have to say. But anyway, this is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.